In the beginning, God created the universe. Deep in the expanses of his creation, he placed a planet that could sustain life. Upon it, he made a man and a woman. He made a garden for them and placed them in it. In the garden, God created a tree, a special tree that bore fruit that could cause someone to live forever if they ate it. He told the man and the woman they could eat from the tree of life. He gave them one rule, not to eat from the tree of knowledge. He warned them that if they did, they would surely die. It came to pass that an archangel rebelled against God. As a result, this angel was cast from heaven. This angel was Lucifer. Lucifer vowed to corrupt God's creation. He tricked the man and the woman to eat from the forbidden tree of knowledge. When they did, God cast them from the garden. God set a great seraphim in front of the tree of life. The angel's job was to keep anyone from eating its fruit. As time went on, Lucifer continued to wage war against God. He and the other angels that rebelled with him began to lay with the daughters of men. This brought forth men of renown, half angel, half human beings, that were abominations to the eyes of God. It was then that God decided he needed to purify the face of the earth from these evil creatures. His method of cleansing was a great flood. Lucifer discovered this plan after God came to Noah and told him to build a boat to save himself and his family from the flood. While Noah was building his boat to save his family, Lucifer went about trying to save his own family. He went to the tree of life, where the mighty seraphim still stood guard. Lucifer's daughter was an exceptionally beautiful woman. He sent his daughter to tempt the seraphim and draw him away from his post. While the seraphim lay with the devil's daughter, Lucifer and his demons were able to steal seven fruit from the tree. That was all they could grab before the seraphim noticed them and ran them away. Lucifer then took the fruit and planted the seeds on distant planets that could also sustain life. His plan was to bring his children to these planets so they could eat from the trees of life and live forever. This he did, and he was very content in his actions. But to the devil's surprise, when the rain began to fall on earth, it also began to rain on these distant planets as well. The floodwaters killed all of Lucifer's children before they could eat from the trees of life. After this event, God decided to kill the pseudo trees of life, these false trees of life that Lucifer planted on these distant planets. Over time, the wood petrified and turned into a substance that is called glowport. This is the wood that Tadeus and Ramses are made of.